Sonia Braga was born in Paraná state Brazil to a seamstress mother and a realtor father. She started in the film adaptation of George Amado's Dona Flo and her two husband in the central role of Dona Flo. She earned American recognition and a Golden Globe nomination for performance in Kiss of the Spider Woman and was nominated for a second Golden Globe for her performance in Moon Over Peredo where she played the part of Madonna Mendes. Vajo celebrity presents top 10 Sonia Braga movies. Number 10 I love you 1981. Man meet woman and invite her home. The two start an intense relationship in order to shield themselves from loneliness. A wealthy Brazilian Paulo has just been abandoned by his beautiful blonde wife Barbara who ran away with another man. Reveling in self pity, he leaves his penthouse in search of liquor. In a bar, he witnesses a relational quarrel and after the disturbance, he asks the woman Maria to go home. She pretend to be a street walker. In fact, she had a lover who gave no value to her. In a brazen affair start, The couple uses each other to satisfy their desire and to avoid their loneliness. However, they are not at all in love. Over time, as their relationship continue, they begin to realize that they are in fact falling for each other. Number 9. Lady on the Bus 1978. After being raised together since they were children, Solange and Carlos get married in a traditional wedding. In the wedding night, the virgin Solange refuses to make love and is raped by her husband. Trying to prove to herself that she is not frigid, every day Solange get a bus and has love with strangers. With Carlos best friend with her father-in-law but not with her beloved husband. Lady on the Bus is a story of Brazilian writer Nelson Rodrigues that became a moral Brazilian classic movie. The writer Nelson Rodrigues had a very immoral view of the family and the mankind. In his view, all the family are or become rotten. The middle class is very decadent and false. Therefore, Lady on the Bus present many element of the universe of Nelson Rodrigues. Sonia Braga is in the splendor of her beauty. Immediately after the successful Dona Flo and her two husband, and is very hot in the love scenes. Last but not the least, the wonderful song of Caetano Veloso complete this great movie. Number 8, Aquarius 2016. Clara, a 65-year-old widow and retired music critic, was born into a wealthy and traditional family in Recife, Brazil. She is the last resident of the Aquarius, an original two-story building built in the 1940s in the upper-class Seaside Avenue. All the neighboring apartment have already been acquired by a company which has other plan for that plot. Clara has pledged to only leave her place upon her death. and will engage in a cold war of salt with the company this tension both disturb clara and give her that age on her daily routine it also get her thinking about her loved ones her past and her future number 7 the last prostitute 1991 the movie followed two young men during a summer spent working as stable boy on a farm They arrive there looking for a prostitute they could use to learn the way of love but find her retired and stay to work so they do not have to expose their lies about going to camp to their parent The film saw us the coming of a story of one of the boys and the conflict between the young men as well as the struggle to move on by the former prostitute The plot is interesting enough and keep you watching. The acting is good. The camera work is good and the movie look just beautiful.
Give it a 6 out of 10 and recommend it to everyone that like a slow deep drama in the middle of the night. Number 6. Kiss of the Spider Woman 1985 Valentin Arag and Louis Molina are unlikely cellmate in a Latin American prison. Valentin, a journalist, is a political prisoner who was working for a leftist anti-government revolutionary group. While in prison, he is frequently tortured in order to cough up information on those with whom he is working. That include the new prisoner in the cell across the block from his. Valentin has yet to provide the authorities with any useful information. Molina, a stereotypically window dresser, is imprisoned on moral charges. Number 5. Gabriela 1983 In 1925, Nassib is the owner of a bar in a small Brazilian coastal town run by the local colonels. He meet Gabriela and hire her on as a cook. They soon enter a passionate relationship fueled by his strong attraction to her sensual nature. However, he soon grow annoyed by the attention she receives. Under his best friend Tony Koss advice, he proposes to her, thinking it will stop the attention. After they are married, he wants her to dress and behave more modestly, so they will be seen as more respectable. But she can't help but stray, and he is forced to annul their marriage, when he finds her in bed with none other than Tony Later, as both Nasib and the town begin to undergo transformation, Nasib and Gabriela resume their relationship. The town's political way modernized slightly and Gabriela returned as Nasib's mistress. Number 4. Roosters 1993 Gallo Moral is the proud patriarch returning home after a seven-year stint for men's laughter. Seeking to re-establish his legendary status as a champion breeder, he come back for the rooster bread by his father. But it is Hector, his son, who inherit the prize-winning bird and neither are about to give in. The fallout from the conflict has consequences for the whole family, especially for Angela, the sensitive 14-year-old daughter unable to cope with the brutal world that surround her and her own emerging womanhood. Despite the best effort of Joanna, her strong but long-suffering mother. Number three, Moon Over Peredo, 1988. Little-known actor Jack No is working on location in the country of Peredo at the time of the dictator dies. The dictator's right-hand man Roberto make Jack an offer he cannot refuse to play the dictator. Jack's acting skills fool the masses but not close friend and employee of the dictator. According to director Paul Mazursky's autobiography, Sudith Molina was originally cast as the dictator's mother. But there was a mix-up. Molina was unavailable and the production only had the Rio Opera House available for three days. They tried in vain for Joe Caldwell and consider a few Brazilian actresses. Mazursky ended up playing the part himself in drag. Number 2. Tieta of Agreste 1996 After an absence of many years, Tieta, who is now in her 40s, returned to Santa Ana as a rich woman, the envy of the town. Tieta has a mysterious aura about her that no one, even her father and sister, can't imagine where her wealth come from. Of course, having been married to a wealthy man might have been one scenario. But there are many hints pointing about what the nature of her business is in Sao Paulo. The truth will not be revealed until the end, when Tieta, who has grown restless in the small town, decides to go back where she belongs. The novel by the great George Amado Gator Tap it, adaptation by director Carlos Dix. 
This is his third movie based by the director of George Amado's novel. Dix was more successful with his earlier films Donna Flo and her two husband and Gabriella using the master storyteller's text. In all this film he has been lucky enough to entice the gorgeous Sonia Braga to participate in them. Number 1 Donna Flo and her two husband 1976 In a small city of Brazil a woman named Flo marry a man named Wadino but once married she find that he is a good for nothing she work teaching cooking and he take all of her money to gamble after Wadino die Flo marry Tidoro the owner of a drug store Flo is happy with her new husband but misses the love life with her previous husband When one day the ghost of Wadino come back to pursue her this brazilian picture became the most successful film at the box office in brazil with its record not broken until around 35 years later with the movie elite squad 2 the enemy within the film was the most watched cinema movie in brazilian theater holding the record for around 20 years until Titanic's theatrical release.